Hello and welcome. My name is Keith Thompson with the Armadale Church of Christ here in Western Australia. We're very happy to have you back with us as we continue to unlock the Bible. We're talking today about sin. Jesus came to deal with sin. In Luke chapter 19 and verse 10, we read, For the Son of Man has come to seek and to save that which was lost. Jesus came to overcome sin. And so that's what we're going to be talking about. Sin, how bad it is, and its consequence. Now, have you ever told a white lie? Well, you're a liar and, and you're a sinner. Have you ever taken something that wasn't yours, even just a little pen or something? Well, you're a thief and then you're a sinner. You see, we have all sinned and we all fall short of the glory of God. Notice Romans 3 and verse, 20, uh, verse 23. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. This is why we all need Jesus Christ because all have sinned. And as a result of that, we fall short of the glory of God. Well, what is sin? Notice the definition we get in 1 John chapter 3 and verse 4. Everyone who practices sin also practices lawlessness, and sin is lawlessness. We sin when we go against God's law. And as a consequence of that sin, we fall short of God's glory. Notice what Isaiah says about this. Now, we read it from Isaiah 59, verses 1 and 2. But the Lord's hand is not so short that it cannot save, nor is his ear so dull that it cannot hear. But your iniquities have made a separation between you and your God, and your sins have hidden his face from you so that he does not hear. Sin causes a separation between us and God. Sin is that which hides God's face from us. The Apostle Peter puts it this way in 1 Peter chapter 3 and verse 12. We read there, For the eyes of the Lord are towards the righteous, and his ears attend to their prayers. But the face of the Lord is against those who do evil. Well, this sets us up to, to realize, to understand why Jesus came to the earth. As we've already quoted, Luke 19, verse 10, For the Son of Man has come to seek and save that which was lost. Jesus came to do away with sin so that we could have forgiveness of sin. Notice what we read in Romans chapter 6 and verse 23. It's in two parts. The first one is, the wages of sin is death. Now we all understand what wages are. It's what we earn. What we earn from sin is death. Now this is not talking about physical death. This is talking about spiritual death. Separation from God is spiritual death, which in the end will lead to our eternal damnation. So, let's continue on. The wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. You see, Jesus came to give us eternal life. Jesus died on the cross for our sins. He paid the price for our sins. The wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus. Jesus certainly did come to seek and save that which was lost. He saves us by paying the price for us, that death. 
Now we receive the gift when we come to him in obedience. That's the topic of our next video, Jesus our Saviour. If you want to know more about Jesus and his saving work, if you want to understand more about sin and how to have your sins forgiven, why don't you contact us and we'll get right back to you. Thank you once again and we look forward to seeing you next time. Goodbye for now.